I love the smell of fire in the morning. There, an enemy. Beat the catnip out of him. Welcome back to Let's Play Legend of K. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I owe these guys a sound beating. Not interested in your bullshit. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you not expecting me to guard? Please. Now they're all. Now they're all posing like bodybuilders. Don't think of it as being defeated, guys. Look at it this way. Today is the first day of the end of your lives. Your luggage. Bring it. Okay, I'll bring it. <sighs> Delicious! Tastes like victory! Actually, I think that's the reference they were going for. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. It smells like victory. Mmm! A tasty treat! Uh, not the frog egg. The, 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 the victory. <laughs> oh, well, that's an issue. I don't know. Oh, right, there was a uh, rope thing. I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be the last one, but, you know... Vengeance. Now, I know it's right here, but I'm not going to go in. I'm going to make my way back to the save point. <gasps> in order to, uh, make sure I never have to do that fight ever again. Oh. That would've been bad, that far from, uh, the sides. I think my best bet would've been to... Okay, sweet. That was exactly what I wanted to happen. <clears throat> Okay. You'll do. And their fates are sealed. I keep forgetting this was originally a PS2 game. I mean, obviously it wouldn't have looked this good on the PS2. I bet the textures were way, way blurrier than this. But, uh... It does make me cut some of the things with this game a bit of slack, like the, uh, camera work. I- apparently there was a manual save option in the PS2, but all it did was save your last... But I think all it did was save your current st 
date to your last autosave, I think, or write your uh, last autosave to the memory card or something. I don't quite remember. It wasn't really what you'd expect from a manual save option, so in the end they took it out of uh, the Anniversary Edition. Oops. I'll do it myself. Unfortunately, <clears throat> the joke was on me when I loaded the game, because the, uh, you know, this puzzle had reset. Didn't need to get the egg, but the puzzle had reset. So I managed to figure out which one opens the door. It's one of this fire over here. Knock knock! House of the Crazy Doctor Man Chu Fu. Oh, home of the Crazy Doctor Man Chu Fu. Oh, didn't even get hit that time. No, I don't. There aren't any ropes near enough to me that I think I can reach them. Well, I guess I just have to look at the aim at that one and hope. Ah, awesome! Hope wins again. Okay, okay. Things are going well. Things are going well. Yes! The last of the frog's eggs. Quest solved. It is done! Okay. I like that. Finish things off with a nice, simple... I don't even know that I would call that a puzzle. Just one chamber with a simple rope swing. Now... I am going to try... What am I actually supposed to be doing with the Eva? Right, right, I'm going to retrace my steps all the way to the beginning of this area, and, uh... talk to Mayor Goo. You know what, nuts to this. Drink. Better. Okay. So I was pretty sure I started out in Mayor Goo's house. Because this is water and not mud, I don't. It doesn't really matter what I do as long as I avoid the actual bubbles and make sure to touch ground every once in a while. Like, fuck you, buddy. I'm going around. Hmm. 
Okay, now I'm going this way. Oh, this area is smaller than I thought. Sweet conclusion, boss. Thanks a bunch, man. Now it's time for you to rest for the night. You will see us tomorrow at the guild. Sounds like a plan. What about, um, the rest of the invasion force? There were not hundreds of gorillas in here. Okay, you're a brave hero. Helped us a lot. Here, take this crocodile tear as a reward. Move on to the Crocodile Temple and find the way to the Forsaken City. Maybe you meet there this girl. What? What girl? This cat girl. We heard she formed up a resistance in the Forsaken City. Was her name Su Ling? Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, could be. Can't remember exactly. I'll check it out. And you should learn something about defense tactics. Bye. <laughs> I had a feeling it would be her, and I'm quietly pleased with myself that I was able to uh, remember her name before he said it. Su Ling is rumored to be in the Forsaken City. Find her. Su Ling came through the swamp on her journey. If Gu is right, you will find her in the Forsaken City. I thought it was weird that at the end of the first cutscene, she says the words, you know, and I watched it a couple of times doing my, uh, what's it called? Uh, frame rate tests. She says the words, you know, fine, I'll go back to my village <clears throat> when she bails on Kay and leaves him there with some well placed sick burns. Um, you yeah, know, I'll go back to my village. Maybe there's someone there with a backbone or something like that. But she lives in the same village as Kay. Apparently she lives in that house uh, that's on the way to uh, the Master's Temple. It's really weird. Did she mean some other village? Is she secretly the mayor of another town? Oh, right. That would be right here. Still here? If you need help, maybe you could buy a tip in the shop. You have found the crocodile tier. With this tier, you can open the door to the crocodile temple. Okay. I'm a bit nervous, to be honest. Because there's a thing in the forums on Steam that indicates that there was originally a game breaking bug in the crocodile temple. I think it was something about a key. Uh, disappearing from your inventory. But I was led to believe What you waiting for? Hurry up! That the uh I was led to believe that the uh thing that the problem had been patched out. So you know, knock on wood, here's going. Here's hoping. Well, you're finally back after a night of fighting. <laughs> Mayhaps you are a little weakened, and I can sell you something for strength. <gasps> oh, do you need some tips? Well, I was gonna buy a uh, health potion anyway. This health potion contains many rare and exotic herbs. But, uh, well, if the mayor told me I might want to buy a tip, maybe I should buy a tip. You need help? I'll sell you the tip of the day. It will help you to advance. You have to search the Turtle Fort and the Crocodile Temple carefully for the two parts of the Froghead Amulet. You need help? Help? I'll sell you the tip he always of the says day. that funnily. It will help you to advance. In the more deepest part of the Swamp of Death, you'll find more than just a sword. More than... Oh, dip! Whoa, whoa, what's it a humping motion See over there, dude? The demon gates. 
Oh, you can purchase this. Oh, demon I'm gonna be so pissed if it doesn't work. You to see demon portals, which are normally hidden to your eyes for ten seconds. I could have worded that more clearly. This potion will allow you to see the uh, demon gates, which are normally invisible to your eyes, but it only lasts for ten seconds. So use it wisely. Oh, what the hell? You need help? I'll sell you the tip of the day. Yeah, there you go. It will help if you show you the ferryman that you are a much better boatsman than he is, he will give you a special key that you can use in the crocodile temple. This is... now it's getting to the point where it's nothing I don't know already, so... Wait a tick. Oh! Okay, so that part was the Swamp of Death, I think. And I needed bees to get through. I'm going the wrong way, already. Way to go, me. I know where the Crocodile Temple is. So let's humor my ridiculous idea. I think I remember getting that tip before, the one about there being more than just a uh, sword. Still here? If you need help, maybe you could buy a tip in the shop. Thanks for everything, Mayor Goo. Hope your trend of wearing clothing catches on to the other frogs. Yeah, I think I remember getting that thing, that, uh, tip before. But now that I've actually gotten the, the sword there... I realized that, uh, there really was nothing there except for... Here's a chest full of money, here's a chest full of money, and here's the sword. It's funny, I thought I needed to use the bees before this. Oh, right, they would be absorbed into my own clouds of bees and disappear. I'm kind of surprised that stayed to the save if the, uh, fire on the door didn't. there, in the deepest part of the Swamp of Death, it said. The deepest part. Well, I wasn't just referring to that guy. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm glad I saved that guy. Always nice to help, but... And dollar reduce on this potion. Okay. Disappointing. Also, I am amazed that that potion is still just sitting there. That baffles me. So the stuff dropped by enemies disappears after a while, but items that fall out of chests... Or was, yeah, I guess that was chests. Or was that pots? Whatever. Items that fall out like that just linger in the environment until you pick them up? Huh. This is a really interesting game. At the same time, I'm glad I didn't play it ten years ago. Because I don't know that I would have had the patience to just keep going for myself. 
Not to mention, of course, that uh, if I'd done that, I wouldn't have been able to uh, share the experience with you guys. Oh. Oh, I want to do something really stupid, Burning Dog fans. I want to get another potion. I want to use it just to make sure, to scratch that itch in the back of my mind, that there is nothing in that ring of mushrooms. Maybe that was just a way of saying, oh, there's, you know, treasure to be had in this really dangerous and difficult looking area. And by the way, part of it is a sword. You know, just to make it really encouraging for you. You know, for a game ostensibly aimed at children, some of the platforming in this game is really tough. Considering I barely understood that puzzle with the buttons and the fire, not to mention that I think that might be the first block-pushing puzzle I've ever encountered. I don't know. Finally back after a night of fighting. <laughs> Mayhaps see the demon gates. Oh, you can purchase this demon go. potion, and which enables you done. to see demon. Sorry, I wasn't listening. Uh, bees. That's what you get for telling me to hurry, asshole. Look, look, I'm stabbing you in the throat. Okay, enough of that. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Legend of K. Oh, that's what that noise is. When I, uh, check out that stupid ring of mushrooms, and, uh, continue on with my journey into the Crocodile Temple. Later! <laughs>